From literally inspiring Luana Pinheiro to join the UFC, to knocking out Betch Cohea in just 34 seconds, there's a reason why people hail Ronda Rousey as a trailblazer for women in the sport. But is that really true? To be fair, the answer is pretty simple. First off, let's just consider Ronda's achievements. She was the first woman to ever win a UFC championship belt, and she did it in spectacular fashion, winning all of her fights by armbar submission. She was dominant in the cage, and she became a huge huge star in the process. But her impact went far beyond her fighting ability. Ronda was one of the first female fighters to really break through into the mainstream. She appeared in movies, TV shows, and even hosted Saturday Night Live. She was a role model for young girls who wanted to pursue combat sports, and she showed that women could be just as tough and capable as men. But perhaps Ronda's most significant impact on the ruthless and male-dominated combat sport was on the next generation of fighters. One of those fighters is Luana Pinheiro. Luana is a rising star in the UFC, and she credits Ronda with inspiring her to pursue a career in MMA. She grew up in Brazil and was always a fan of combat sports, but it wasn't until she saw Ronda fight that she realized she could make a career out of it. Luana said that when she saw Ronda Rousey fight for the first time, she knew she wanted to do the same thing. She saw her as an inspiration and a role model, and she knew that if Ronda could do it, so could she. Luana has already made waves in the UFC, winning her debut fight in impressive fashion. And she's just getting started. Who knows how far she'll go in the sport? But one thing's for sure, she wouldn't be where she is today without Ronda's influence. And Luana Pinheiro is just one example of the many fighters who she has inspired. The list would have to go on and on. But another example is Zhang Weili, the current UFC strawweight champion. She has often praised the former bantamweight champion, Ronda Rousey, as her inspiration for joining the UFC. Weili was drawn to Rousey's fearlessness, determination, and pioneering role in women's MMA. Rousey's achievements paved the way for fighters like Whaley, who has now become a role model for young aspiring athletes in her own right. Whaley's admiration for Rousey serves as a reminder of the impact that trailblazers can have on future generations, both in and out of the octagon. So yeah, Rousey is a living legend and has no shortage of iconic and inspirational moments. One of the most moving moments of Ronda's career was when she she won the UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship in 2012. Her opponent was Misha Tate, the reigning Strikeforce Women's Bantamweight Champion at the time. The fight took place at UFC 168, and it was the co-main event of the evening. Ronda was the heavy favorite going into the fight, but Misha was a tough opponent, and many people thought she had a chance to pull off the upset. The first round was a back-and-forth battle, with both fighters landing some solid shots. But it was clear that Ronda was in control, and she eventually took her opponent down to the mat. From there, she worked her way into position for her signature move, the arm bar. Misha tried to defend herself, but Ronda was relentless, and she eventually forced her to tap out. The crowd went wild, and Ronda celebrated in the octagon with her team. She had just made history, becoming the first woman to ever win a UFC championship belt. But it wasn't just the win that was inspiring, it was the way she did it. She was dominant, she was aggressive, and she showed that women could be just as tough and capable as men. After the fight, she proved that she was here to stay and that she was going to be a force to be reckoned with in the sport. Um, you know what? I was expecting anything. I was expecting five rounds or one round. And, um, you know, she really impressed me with how, you know, um, savvy she was on the ground. Um, at least her defense. Rousey not only became the first woman to ever hold a UFC championship belt, but she did it in a dominant fashion, submitting her opponent in the first round. This was a huge moment for women's MMA, and it inspired a whole generation of female fighters to follow in Ronda's footsteps. That's the thing about Ronda. She's all about tough love. And man, does it work wonders. She is a huge advocate for women's rights and empowerment, and famously said, I'm not a do-nothing when she was asked about what kind of women she hated. Because there's not a single muscle on my body that isn't for a purpose, because I'm not a do-nothing It's not very eloquently said, but it's to the point, and maybe that's just what I am. She encouraged women to take charge of their own lives and not let anyone hold them back. At the time, Ronda was at the top of her game. She had just become the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, and she was one of the most dominant fighters in the sport. But she wasn't content to just rest on her laurels. She wanted to inspire other women to be strong, independent, and confident. So, when she was asked about her thoughts on women who didn't work out or take care of their bodies, she 
didn't hold back. She said that she had this one term for the kind of woman that her mother raised her not to be, and she called it a do-nothing she described it as the kind of chick that just tries to be pretty and be taken care of by somebody else. It was a powerful message, and it resonated with women all over the world. I have this one term for the kind of woman that my mother raised me to not be, and I call it a do-nothing the American was saying that women didn't have to be passive and that they could take control of their lives and be strong and independent. She was challenging the stereotypes that had been holding women back for so long, and she was doing it with confidence and swagger. The impact of Rhonda's words was immediate. Fighters started using the term DNB as a way to motivate themselves and each other, and it became a rallying cry for women in MMA. Another moment that stands out was when Rhonda became the first woman to be inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame in 2018. Team. This was a massive honor for Rhonda, and it was a testament to the impact that she had on the sport. She paved the way for women to be taken seriously in MMA, and she helped shatter the glass ceiling that had been holding female fighters back for so long. But the most inspiring thing about Rhonda was her resilience. She suffered a devastating loss to Holly Holm in 2015, but instead of giving up, she bounced back and continued to fight. She may not have been invincible, but she showed that she was a true fighter both inside and outside the octagon. The fight took place at UFC 193, and it was one of the most highly anticipated bouts in MMA history. Ronda was the undefeated women's bantamweight champion, while Holly Holm was a former boxing world champion who was infamous for her striking skills. In the first round, Ronda came out strong, as she always did, but Holly was patient, waiting for the right moment to strike, and when she did, it was devastating. She landed a head kick that knocked Ronda out cold. It was a shocking moment, and the crowd was silent as Rhonda laid on the mat. But instead of giving up, Rhonda showed her resilience. She got back up, hugged Holly, and congratulated her on the win. It was a gracious moment, showing that Rhonda was a true champion, even in defeat. But after the fight, Rhonda was devastated. She had lost her title, her undefeated record, and her aura of invincibility. But instead of giving up, she bounced back. She took some time off to regroup, and then she returned to the octagon determined to prove that she was still one of the best fighters in the world, and she did just that. She won her next fight against Betch Kohea in just 34 seconds. It was a stunning display of skills, and it showed that she was still a force to be reckoned with. Uh, I plan to, instead of trying to force a clinch, to overwhelming overwhelm her striking first so that she would want to clinch first, and that's exactly what happened. So all in all, she's more than just a fighter. She solidified her name as a trailblazer in the UFC, and as an inspiration to millions of people worldwide. Thank you so much for everyone coming out and the passion and everything. Well, that's it for today on Ronda Rousey being a trailblazer.